time for the 49ers Rush Podcast. And then Javon Kinlaw. And so I, I want to talk about Kinlaw because what he was able to bring across was nothing short of amazing. Speaking of which, Jordan Mason, uh, you know, we're, we're going to spend some time on him. He's still racking him up, man. Yeah, he's on fire. Jordan Mason for real. Hey, I've been telling you guys. I've been telling Wade. I've been telling everybody I'm on. Jordan Mason is for real. And I, I'm glad that the faithful got to see it tonight. And especially whenever the running backs suspect game at best, uh, Hasty and Jordan Mason look great. Uh, TDP had, you know, one, two positive plays, but a lot of negatives. Uh, and Trey Sermon just looked awful. But anyway, we'll, we'll get back to that. Let, let's go back to Kinlaw. Kinlaw came out. And again, you're talking four starters that are getting playing time out here. He's got to build confidence. Otherwise, it's all a waste. And we got victory formation by the Niners. They went 17-7. to That's what I'm talking about. And again, you can talk about the power that Ken Law displayed and how he just manhandled people all entire game. That's awesome. But you got to see a little bit of the pass rush nuance that you have never seen from Ken Law. Ken Law has always won with just brute force and strength. Just bull in a china shop, just plow forward with his strength. But that's not how he got a sack. He legitimately had a pass rush move set up in a plan and executed it to perfection. He was Kirk Cousins quarterback's coach in Washington for a couple of years, Kellen. Shotgun, scoreless game, hit and sack. Javon Kinlaw trying to open eyes. He's supposed to be a big timer, and that was a big time play. It's a loss of 11. It's protection broke down eventually, but he had some time. When's, you know, Mond had enough time to really get rid of that football, get a feel for that. And it was just absolutely great. He got a lot of snaps. He got 17 snaps last week. Whenever you look at week one of the preseason against the Packers, he got a lot more than that. And whenever he was out there, also Hassan Ridgeway was out there with him as well, which it was nice to see him get some play because he's another run-stuffing defensive tackle. And when those guys were out there, nobody was running up the middle. When they came out, two to three runs gashed right up the middle consecutively when Kinlaw and Ridgeway were out. So the, the formula for the way in which this team, this defense is built, it's built up the middle. You got your two stud defensive tackles. You got your incredible linebacking core. And then you got your pass rushers coming off the edge. It's just that is the modus operandi of how D'Amico Ryan's, John Lynch, Kyle Shanahan built this defense. And it works when you have the personnel. And we have the personnel. Kinlaw looked incredible. Um, just power showed all the time. And so if, if you take nothing else away from this preseason game, Javon Kinlaw checkmark. And I, I think they let him play a little bit too much. Uh, he was out there in the second quarter and I was like, Oh, get him out of there. Uh, like we've seen it. We've seen enough, but you've got to get to the point. You know, I played through injuries and you've been around, I've been around players who have played through injuries. It's up here, man. It's psychological because until you conquer that, it, it, it messes with your feet, messes with your reads, messes with almost everything you've got. So Javon Kinlaw, that's probably the number one thing I'm taking away from this game. Check mark, huge. Um, Leo says, man, we're pretty deep. You're not lying. Um, 49ers controlled the ball. The offense was really, really bad to start. And we'll, we'll jump into that. I, I don't want to do that just yet. But yes, depth is key.